Oops, oh, sorry. No, we're not. Mm. Mm. Tell us why this is an important weekend in the Wallace household. Um, well, I might be able to race my sister for the first time since I was a sophomore. So the heat sheets haven't come out yet. So I'm hoping you'll get your family moment yes, out there. Yes, I know. On the track. Big 5K for Stormy. As you can see, not only did she finally get that conference standard, but she also got about a 24 second season PR. Along with Julia Marriott, they both ran 17-16, so both secured their conference qualifiers, and it was just a huge day for them. Really proud. I mean, that closing kick is just unmatched. Classic Julia. All right, here we are with our two 5K queens. Just competed in heats two and three of- One and two. Heats one and, one and two. two. Heats one and two of the open division, both with massive season PRs. Or am I career PR? PR season PR. All right, let's go. Um, tell us how how it felt to be out there in that type of environment. Um, give us, yeah, just give us the rundown. Um, I think it's my last year. Could have been my last 5K. So even if it is, I think I ended on a good one. And it's my favorite track. So it was nice to come full circle. Love that. Yeah. Yes, because you full competed circle. here in high school. You did every year in high school. Mine was good. Um, I don't know. Like mid race, I decided to just like take the lead because they were going so slow, and then I got swallowed. But I was like, I have to go with them or else I'm gonna fall, and that honestly worked in my favor. I heard a lot about this track being like short and fast, it's and magic. so it was my first time racing. It wasn't short. It's a magic track. Oh, yeah. Y'all both just it did it's, that. It's, mag it's magic track. No, Tumi Magic real. is back home. This is APU. Yeah. Um. Lastly, how does it feel to both finally just seal the deal and get that conference standard? Feels pretty oh my great. God. It feels good, even though it doesn't though, matter for either of us. Yeah. We're doing the 10. We get to race 25 laps around the track so, at conference. So no 5Ks <laughs> at, at conference. I mean, well, I don't maybe. think so. I don't know. Who don't knows? Know. I didn't think we'll I was going to come to APU, but I did. Well, then <laughs> things change. How does it feel? How does it feel to just have two amazing season PRs? I mean, for you, five second season PR. For you, no, what? No, 15, 15. seconds. 15, 15 seconds, that's yeah. right. Oh my gosh, and for you, um, like what, 20, seconds? something crazy, yeah. 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 So, no, it's good. That's, well, either way, conference or not, that is something to be very proud of. <laughs> Guys, here's oh Kayla Rutz. Hi. She just <laughs> ran um, her second 5K of the season, or third? Third 5K. Third, yeah. all right. Give us, <laughs> give us a little bit of a run through. Um, It was super fun. The weather was perfect, too, so. Um, I've never run at this track before, but it's good. It good. So clearly out here at this track today, um, it's a, yeah, like you were saying, it's a very different race environment than some of the other races we've been to. I mean, there's people right there on the track. Um, the fans are just lined up all around, you know, right on the track with you. They're not all in the bleachers. So what is it, how is it running in that type of environment? Um... I liked it a lot. I could like hear cheering around the whole track, which was really nice. So I liked it. I liked the environment here. It was good.
Quick side note, Oriana raced this like practically fresh off the plane, which makes it that much more impressive. You uh, dropped a nice little, let's see, 10 second 5k PR? 11, yeah. 11, okay. How'd that feel this weekend? It felt good. I mean, I just feel like I've been in better shape than the last time around a 5k and I guess it just showed up when I raced finally. We love it. Training's finally just clicking, everything. Yeah. I mean, it's been clicking, but. Yeah, it feels great. You're, uh, you wore the PR hat for the third time in a row this season? Well, not in a row, but yeah, the third time. Still counts, still yeah. counts. Michael, would you say that any of your success this season is attributed to the fact that the 5K is relatively newer for you? You didn't focus on as much last year? Yeah, I think um, I think it's just my better event. And last year I didn't really want to run it, but this year I gave it a chance and it's been working out, I guess. History was made. How does it feel to now be the new school record holder over 5,000 meters? Feels good. <laughs> if only Took a little fall. James again. likes it. Um, it seems to be a pattern, oh but um, I'll take it. It was fun. It was worth the fall. Yeah, it was fun. Okay guys, this is Austin Vasquez. A part of this sport obviously is not always having your best race at every single meet. It's not always sunshine and rainbows. So Austin, if you could just tell us how you handle um, coming off of maybe a slightly underwhelming race. Yeah, so I'd say coming off a bad race, like how I get over it would definitely be not sulking in a bad mood for too long. <laughs> Understanding that <clears throat> like, no matter how bad it went, like you can't change anything about it. So just, I think the good thing about having bad race is also just being able to reevaluate what you did wrong in training and also the race. So you don't have that situation happen again. Um, it's more so motivating than like feeling bad in my opinion. So yeah, I'd say just reevaluating and understanding what you can do better. Here's debrief for her race. Here. Um, not gonna lie, wasn't wasn't my hottest 5K. It was not anywhere near Bree's 5K. But you know, it's not always like I was saying earlier. It's not always sunshine and rainbows. You know, I had the races like this. The low races make the high races feel better. Um, I know that was like the most cliche line in the book. But yeah, I know. Definitely, I didn't race the way that I was planning on racing this weekend. Um, but I think that just goes to show, like, I have, high, I have high standards for myself. And, you know, races like this are humbling. It just reminds me that I need to get back to training and just keep my head up, keep working hard, and hope for better ones in the future. And she's going to kill that cosplay. Hope so, so. Hope so. Guys, we're on our uh, 1500 shakeout right now. Got Chloe, yeah. got Ivan. How are we feeling about sunny weather today after yesterday? Oh, it's great. I didn't even leave the hotel room though, so like, it's really bright. Ivan, how you feeling? The weather feels good. Need my second coffee and I'll be good for tonight. Love it. Love it, yeah. Got to time that caffeine right always. You heard it from the man himself. Do you enjoy the super late races at Azusa, yes or no? Yes, I do.
market bought me pajamas. I don't know which side's the front or the back, they're both the same.